Hey everyone, Brendan Sander here. How are you? Thanks so much for joining me. So it is that time of year. Yes, we are getting ready for Record Store Day. They just dropped the list for April 20th of 2024. It has 386 titles on it. I'm super excited about it. Uh, Record Store Day back in November, which they just referred to as Black Friday. In my opinion, didn't have a whole lot, and I wasn't very excited about the releases that were coming out. But I got to say, this one here, very, very excited. Lots of cool stuff. I pulled out 25 highlights to hit you guys with, and we'll get into that here in just a bit. But before we start, if you're new to my channel and haven't already hit the subscribe button, please do. Also, leave a comment, hit like. All those things do help support my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. And of course, if you turn on notifications, you're going to stay up to date on everything going on in the world of music, just like with this episode here where we're talking about Record Store Day and the releases that are coming out for April 20th of 2024. You want to be in the know, you want to know what's coming out, this is where it's at. So right off the bat here, there's some th key things to know about these so that you can decide what it is you're picking up for yourself. If something is a record store day first, it will get a wider release later on. So I'm going to be calling out and telling you whether it's a record store day first or an exclusive, which means it's only on record store. And then you're going to really want to try to pick that up. There's record store day limited run, which just means it's a small pressing. And then there's also record store day regional releases, which means they're only coming out in certain territories, which means might only come out in the U.S., could only come out in Japan, things like that. So Record Store Day first, Record Store Day exclusive, Record Store Day limited run, and Record Store Day regional. There might even be some more of those, but at least on the ones that I'm going to cover here, it's those four things. So let's jump into this. Uh, first up, some early Ted Nugent. We got the Amboy Dukes Journey to the Center of the Mind, 1968 LP. This is a reissue of the second studio album, and it is a record store day first. So again, this will be coming out and getting a wider release later on. Next one up has been announced for a while. We got David Bowie, Waiting in the Sky Before the Starman Came to Earth. It is an LP. The album was created as a provisional track listing for the more famous album, The Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and the Spiders from Mars, which came out in 1972. So not only is there a different track listing, what's interesting about this is there are four songs on here that didn't make it to the more famous album. So there's some exclusive stuff regarding this here. This is a Record Store Day exclusive, which means it is not supposed to get a release anywhere else, and it's limited to 8,000 copies. All right, then we got Kiss drummer Eric Carr, Unfinished Business. The album originally came out in 2011. This is a 2LP or 1CD release, so there is a CD for this one. Uh, Unfinished Business was a posthumous release after he'd passed away, compilation of unreleased recordings. Um, this has new artwork different from the 2011 release, features five bonus tracks on here. The LP is a box set which has built-in flashing light, apparently pressed right between Eric Carr's eyes and something lights up, didn't say what. But there's that, the CD, just regular CD, uh, in an LP replica style format. This is a Record Store Day exclusive. The CD is limited to 500 copies and the LP, 5,000. I think there's going to be a lot left over in terms of that LP. But I know those CD, because he's done this before with his other uh, solo release, 500 copies goes really fast, so get to the store early if you want one of those. Now, the reason I'm wearing the Def Leppard shirt here is Def Leppard has a release, and it is called One Night Only, live at Lead Mill 2023, two LP set. Unfortunately, no CD here, archival live album featuring 13 tracks. So it is a complete uh, performance of what they did there. This is a record store day first. So uh, 6,000 copies available, but if it's a record store day first, it'll probably get a wider release then. And I'm hoping if that is the case, it means we're going to get a CD release of it as well. Now, it could also be that this is going to come out in a box set or something. Um, we'll have to wait and see about that. But it is a record store day first, so I will probably actually pass on this and wait for what is the uh, wider release, even if it's just LP, I'll pick it up at that time, but I'm gonna hope and pray there's a CD of it. 
Next up, Dio, Last in Line LP, second studio album. This is a picture disc, and it is a Record Store Day exclusive, limited to 4,500 copies. All right, seems like there's always a Doors release for Record Store Day, and I love that because they're one of my favorite bands. Live at Concertust, and I apologize if I butchered that name, Stockholm, 1968, two LP or two CD set. Previously unreleased archival live album taken from a live radio broadcast. They even describe it as being raw performances, so I don't know if that means that the quality of it is not going to be totally up to par because if you picked up the last live release that came out back in November for Record Store Day Black Friday, I know a lot of people weren't happy with the overall production value of it, myself included. Sounded fine. There just wasn't a lot of energy or excitement into it uh, like other live Doors recordings, but hey, when uh, the doors are gone and you can only get these archival releases, I think we'll take what we can get. Uh, it is an exclusive, so it's not going to be getting a wider release. The LP is 6,000 copies, the CD 8,000 copies. And I think that's an interesting distinction here, that the CD actually has more pressing than the LP. A lot of people talk about, oh, the CD's dying, the LP is uh, you know, coming back, but you're getting more CDs pressed on a lot of these things. All right. Fog Hat, Permission to Jam, live in New Orleans, 1973. This is an LP, previously unreleased live archival album featuring 12 songs that are recorded over two different shows. It is a Record Store Day exclusive, 3,500 copies available. Next up, Grateful Dead frontman Jerry Garcia Band, Electric on the Eel, 1989. 2LP set. It's an archival live album. Um, well, I said 2LP, but it's actually, I think it's a 4LP, or the information between the uh, title and the description are incorrect, and I did notice that across the board on some of these. So I have it listed as both 2LP and 4LP in here, but head over to the website and you can get a confirmation on it. Uh, might have just been four sides. Maybe that's what I'm confusing it with. Uh, it does feature 17 tracks, though, and um, RS Day exclusive 3,000 copies, so not a lot available on that. This next one is one that I'm actually really excited about. As I said, there's a lot of these on here that excite me. Golden Earring, The Cut Sessions. It's a two LP set. Uh, this is Sessions from their 16th studio album that was simply called The Cut. That was the album that featured the big hit Twilight Zone in the 80s. So this includes outtakes, alternate versions, rough mixes, and more from those recording sessions. This one here is the Record Store Day limited run, so not a lot, and regional release. Now, I'm assuming since I can read about it on the Record Store Day website, that that means it is a U.S. Uh, thing and is not regional somewhere else, but only 1,000 copies. So, again, you want these, and, and some of these that you see that are limited runs, make sure you get to the store early so that you can, uh, you know, hopefully get what it is you're looking for. Iggy Pop and the Stooges have live at Lookercy uh, Freestein, 2005. This is an LP archival live album from the reunion era of the band. It features only six tracks though on it, but it is called out as an LP, not an EP. So I don't know the length of the songs. This is a Record Store Day exclusive limited to 2,500 copies. Then we've got Alternative Rockers Malfunction, Olympus Awaits LP. It's a compilation album from former Mother Love Bone vocalist Andrew Wood. This was his band before that. Record Store Day first, 1,300 copies, so it will get the wider release, and again, hopefully on CD. This next one's very interesting. Roger McGuinn, Chris Hillman, and Marty Stewart, Sweetheart of the Rodeo, 50th anniversary uh, recording uh, for the Sweetheart of the Rodeo, two LP set. Now, it was recorded in 2019, uh, celebrating the Birds' 1968 studio album of the same name, Marty Stewart filling in for the deceased Graham Parsons. This is a Record Store Day first, 2,500 copies. All right, Motley Crue's got one here with Supersonic and Demonic Relics, two LP set, 
reissue of their 1999 compilation of rarities and b-sides this is a record store day exclusive 2500 copies don't know if it's ever been pressed to vinyl before i doubt it was in 1999 so this might be the first time it is coming out on vinyl all right next up Motorhead always seems to have something here, and this time something different, not an archival live album. We getting Remorse? No. And uh, this is a 2LP set, 40th anniversary reimagining of the No Remorse compilation album that came out in 1984. This one features previously unreleased rare and live tracks. And so I don't know if it's going to be the same track listing as No Remorse just done as rarities. But either way, I think it's pretty cool to be getting it. It is a record store day exclusive, 2100 copies. All right, Mr. Big. The Big Finish, Lean Into It Live, 2LP set, new live recording capturing the band on their farewell tour, but also performing the classic 1991 album Lean Into It in its entirety. So like a doubly cool thing here. Record Store Day first, 2,000 copies. This next one I'm super excited about, Alan Parsons Project Pyramid works in progress lp so session recordings from the classic 1978 album it was their third studio album at the time featuring nine tracks on this release six of which are previously unreleased all of them making their first appearance on vinyl uh it does include the entire album so all nine of those tracks are the original album but now they're in demos rough mixes and the eric wolfson songwriting diary versions uh, there's a 12 by 12 insert. It's on Cooking Vinyl Records, and it is a Record Store Day exclusive, 2,000 copies. I am supposed to be getting one from Cooking Vinyl to review for you guys, so keep an eye out for that when I get it, and it should be in advance of Record Store Day. I'll let you know more about that release. All right, then we got Punk Rockers, The Ramones, the 1975 Sire Demos. This is an LP. It marks the 50th anniversary of the band, featuring their earliest known studio recordings. There's 13 tracks. Many of these would appear on the 1976 debut album. This is a Record Store Day exclusive, limited to 6,000 copies. All right, the Rolling Stones have something in here. Live at Racket, New York City, LP live recording from the album release party for their new studio album, Hackney Diamonds. It features seven tracks on it, three of them classic songs, four of them are new from the album Hackney Diamonds. Lady Gaga joins for the last song, Sweet Sounds of Heaven. It is a record store day first, limited to 7,000 copies. Now, I find this one interesting because they just did the deluxe edition of Hackney Diamonds, which came with a bonus CD of this same live show. This being called a Record Store Day first, so at least the LP itself is going to get a wider release, but I'm hoping a standalone CD happens because I didn't want to shell out to buy the album again just to get this, even though I want the live show. Right, then we got grunge band The Screaming Trees, the Ellensburg Demos, 1986 to 88 LP. So these are demos that were captured on um, one of the band members' four-track recorder. There's 10 tracks here. It is a record store day first, 3,500 copies available. This next one I'm excited about, Sponge, Planet Girls, Lost 1999 album. It's on LP. So this is uh, following on from their first two albums, which were on a major label. They made a label switch. Uh, the band had partnered up with Kevin Shirley to produce the third album, but because of that label change, this album was shelved. Later on, their third album would become New Pop Sunday, but these are the original recordings. It could have been the third studio album. It's a record store day first and limited to 1,100 copies. Because it's a first, I'll be waiting for uh, to see if a CD comes out. And I'm going to do some more research on all of this. And I hope as we get closer to uh, record store day, a lot of times we'll find out when and where these things are going to get released down the road. And if I can tell you that stuff, I'll certainly do that. All right, Talking Heads, live at WCOZ 77. It is a 2LP set, previously unreleased archival live album. Now, this is interesting. It's cut at a 45 RPM speed, featuring 14 tracks, and I guess that's how they were gonna, gonna get it on there. Um, it's a record store day exclusive of 8,000 uh, pressing. 
But I'm curious, is cutting the LP at a 45 RPM do anything to the sound overall? Because if not, why wouldn't all LPs be cut that way? But anyway, that's what they've done here on this, something a little different. Then we've got Thin Lizzy, live at Hammersmith, 1976, two LP set. This was taken from the Live and Dangerous box set, which features 14 tracks on this. Now, the, the Live and Dangerous box set, I don't believe there was an LP edition of it. Could have been, but there was definitely the CD edition. So if you got the CDs, you already have this. But I think this is making the LP debut of this here. Uh, it is a record store day first, 4,500 copies. So again, it will get a wider release. All right, Wall of Voodoo, live 1979 LP, rare live archival album featuring 10 tracks. This was before their big hit Mexican radio. So if that's all you know by them, know that that is not appearing on here. This is being made available on vinyl for the first time. And it is a record store day exclusive of 2,000 copies. Then we've got The Who, The Story of The Who, 2LP 1976 compilation, features 26 tracks on it, of course, telling the story of The Who by all their hits, never released in the U.S., so making its debut in the U.S., also been out of print on vinyl since 1989. This is a record store day first, 4,500 copies. All right, and the last one here, the 25th one to tell you guys about, yes, Yale Bowl 1971 LP, previously unreleased, full performance, although it's only four tracks. So I'm a little confused by that, but we know Yes will sometimes jam out really long. Maybe they only did four tracks during this live show. Uh, this was for their tour of the Yes album, 1971, uh, record store day exclusive, 4,500 pressed. These go fast. If you're a fan of Yes, like the other ones that have come out and have disappeared and go for high dollars on eBay, you may want to check this one out. I know I'll be doing that myself. So there you go, 25 titles of the 386 overall that are available for Record Store Day, April 20th of 2024. Of course, head over to Record Store Day's website. There's a PDF version and a web-based version. You can check this out and all the other ones. I'm sure you'll find even more stuff available. But these 25 are the ones that I'm focusing on that I find really excited and interesting that they are putting these things out and I can't wait for some of them as well as finding out if some of these are going to get wider releases on CD. Again, we'll have to wait for that, but there you go. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, time to get excited for Record Store Day, man. I can't wait. April 20th. And keep your eyes peeled because I will be doing another preview sort of unboxing video with um, Sound Exchange in Wayne, New Jersey, Anthony Covielli. We'll be doing that. We'll go through it all in advance a few days before so you guys can really see what all this stuff looks like. But until then, time to get ready. All right, everyone, have a good one, and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.